Good evening. Welcome to my talk show called The Power of the Psalms. I'm your host, Miss Sam, and today we are going to deliberate on certain verses from Psalms 23. So I'd like you to get your Bibles and turn to Psalms 23. So we can glorify the Lord in spirit and in truth. I hope everybody is fine. If it's your first time, follow me here on Instagram. And you can also follow me on YouTube because I will be uploading this video after on YouTube at MSE TV Network. We are a global performing arts and we bring different content such as movies, talk show, music, comedy, plays, uh, movie series, different things. So on that note, today we are bringing in your home the word of the Lord. And right now, especially right now, we need to be closer to God and walk in righteousness because with all the pandemic all over the world things are getting worse so we have to stay covered under the blood of the lamb we have to be in christ so on that note let's take the good book the bible and we're going to be reading from psalms 23. now the book of psalms is extremely powerful and it was written by David. David was a man that God really loved. This, you know, the Bible say David was a man of God's heart. Yes, and I see why. So let's take it from verse one straight to verse six. We're going to dissect each verse and I'm going to speak to you the power of this Psalms, which is 23. And this Psalms is used in a manner of protection, of prosperity and blessing. Psalms 23 is a Psalms of protection and blessing and let's find out more so starting with verse one the lord is my shepherd i shall not want very powerful now the lord is our shepherd and in him we shall never want anything i know things sometimes don't look good right now the money ain't right People's health is not right. People marriage not right. The children them not right. And the pandemic definitely not right. But when you follow the true shepherd, Jesus Christ, everything's going to be all right. You hear me? You have to be very diligent and very careful. What shepherd? You're walking behind. Remember, the shepherd protects its flock and bring the flock in a safe atmosphere and environment. The shepherd as well, let me tell you, is very protective over his flock. Remember, the Bible said, Jesus, the Lord is a very jealous God. You understand what I mean? And he's going to protect you with everything. So people, make sure you know what shepherd you're following, you know. Make sure you're following Jesus Christ. Because he is the shepherd that will make everything all right. It says, I shall not want. No matter what you're going through and you feel, Lord, I don't have this. I don't, how am I going to manage you yeah, after our faith, the Bible said, if you have faith as small as a grain of mustard seed, you can tell the mountain 
to move. Amen? You're not going to want. Trust me, I have proven God over and over and over. No matter how the bank account sometimes look dry. God always have a ram in the bush. You understand? He always make a way. Sometimes he said, Lord, I can't manage. I can't pay this bill. What bill I should pay now? Because I don't have enough. Well, if God is your shepherd. Hmm? If Jesus Christ is your shepherd. You won't lack of anything. God will make a way out of no way. Can I get an amen? All right. Let's move to verse 2. Verse 2 says, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. When you're in Christ, not altar Christ, not our own Christ, but when you're in Christ, He will lead your mind to a peaceful place, a calm place. You're going to be reassured. You don't have to worry. Because the water will be still. Remember when Christ was on the boat with the disciples and the billow was rolling. And the storm was raging. And right now we're going through this pandemic, which is a big storm. And it looked like it's going to throw us overboard. Remember the disciples was panicking. And Jesus just relaxed and said, watch here, look at them. Don't they know that I am God? Mm? Don't they know who they are monks? Listen, everybody is panicking about the COVID and the new strain now. Don't panic. Take, be sensible, be wise. Take precaution. Wear your mask. Stay six feet behind. Those who want to take the vaccine, Take the vaccine. Because all I know, the vaccine, what I am personally taking, and I don't care if anybody's begs about it, is the Holy Ghost vaccine. Because when God gives me a shot of the Holy Ghost, huh? I am covered. What the Bible say? When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Mm? Anoint yourself with some olive oil. Pray over it. Mm? And know that God is with you. So when Jesus was in the boat with the disciples and they're getting excited and they're worrying, they're waking up the master. All oh, Jesus said, <laughs> peace be still. Let me tell you something. You have to talk. Life into your life you shall live you shall not die get up every day and say that because the tongue is very powerful mm? you have the power of life or death in your tongue you know worry about covid covid need to worry about itself you understand what i'm saying because I know the shepherd that I follow, that I am protected. Nobody not putting no fear in my life. The devil is a liar. Go sit down. Verse 3. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. So a lot of people that have lost things now. If you're truly worshipping God and following the right shepherd, he is going to restore you. Somebody needs to hear that tonight. Don't worry about all what you've lost. Because God is going to give you double for your trouble. Look at Job. When he lost everything. He was one of the richest men in his community. And he lost everything. He lost family members. Huh? He was sick. His wife tell him, listen, it's better you curse God and die. He said, woman, take away yourself and go sit down because the shepherd I follow, 
I'm not going to turn my back and I'm not going to curse God and die because he was a wise man. Because, you know, if he cursed God, he would have died. But because he believed in the shepherd that he served and follow, that his life would be restored and God restore him. And he was blessed seven times more. He had seven times more than what he had before. So God is going to restore a lot of us. And I pray that I'm in that number because I believe in God. Anything that I have lost. Sometimes when you lose certain things and certain family and certain friends around you. Don't worry yourself. It's a blessing because God got to get rid of some of them. Thank you for that one, Jesus. Yeah, I said it. And I don't apologize for it neither, mate. Let me tell you. Because some of the family and some of the friends that was around you never meant you good. They were bad mind, envious, jealous. Huh? And the spirit that they carried that was around you did not serve you. So God caused you to lose those people around you so he can bring you closer to him and he can restore you to the place where you need to be. Don't get up and worry. Don't get angry with nobody. Nobody ain't calling you or returning your calls or not there for you as a friend or a family or a neighbor. That's okay. Put all your energy into the Lord. And God will provide every single need that you have. You don't need waste, people. Hmm. Come on now. Holy Ghost. Just a warm up. Verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. We go back to the corona right now. We're actually walking through the valley of the shadow of death. The Bible don't lie. That's what we're going through right now. But because you follow the right shepherd, you don't have to fear anything while everybody around you is panicking. Huh? They are so confused right now. Even with the vaccine, they're confused. Because they put fear into people. People go and run and take it. Some people after they take it. They never had COVID before, you know. But when they take the vaccine, guess what? They got the COVID. And then now, uh, now they're saying even though you got the vaccine, you still got a mask up because the new strain now is more deadly than the previous one. And you still might get this strain of COVID. Come on now. And so people are panicking, especially in America, they're panicking and it's really bad here. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't fear nothing. The Bible says who loves his life will lose it. You understand what I mean? And if you're right with God, when God is ready to take you home, you've got nothing to worry about. Got nothing to worry about. If your art is clean and you're doing right by people and you're doing right by God, you got nothing to worry about because when it's your time, it's your time. You understand what I mean? And if it's not your time, they could have come with a million virus. You're not going nowhere because you're protected under the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Mm. Verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Sometimes, God, you know, to make you stronger, he has to prepare a table before your enemies so he can expose them to you. Yeah. He has to put you amongst your enemies sometime. And God has to place you right before them. And give you the spirit of discernment for you to know they're not for you. So don't fret yourself. What the Bible say. Fret not yourself for evildoers. Don't fret yourself. 
God has to show people. And you see, in this pandemic time, you're seeing really family, friends, neighbors, whoever. You're seeing really who is for you now. And a lot of people cannot pretend during this time. You understand? Because the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is showing you them clear, crystal clear. Sometimes, you know, when things happen, we say, oh God, why are we going through this? You have to go through it. You have to go through the fire. You understand what I'm saying? It might be painful and disturbing at times, but you have to go through it because it's going to bring you closer to God and it's going to reveal a lot of people to you. And God wants you to know. So you have to go through trials and tribulation. You understand what I'm saying? Because some of us need to wake up and smell the coffee. Because we've been sleeping for far too long. And we have been so disobedient before the Lord, including myself. God forgive me. Certain things that we say and certain things that we do is not of the Lord and it's not right. And you're not walking in your purpose. You're not walking in your excellence that God has created you or ordained you to be. You understand? We are children of the living God, the most high. And we're not demonstrating that on a daily basis and God is fed up. So sometimes when Satan lick out with different viruses and different things, God just low it because he's going to see how strong you are. And a lot of us are warriors. But we're sleeping on the back of field when we're supposed to be fighting on the back of field and showing who we are. Our DNA come from God. So we need to start exposing who we really are. And if it's going to take coronavirus, so be it. Mm. Verse 6. Surely the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house forever. Amen. So that means that God's goodness. And right now we need God's mercy. And God's mercy is going to follow us all, not some, not part, but all the days of our life. Huh? And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. How beautiful that is. You have to believe. You have to trust God. Because God is a merciful God. Because a lot of us should have been dead long time. Certain things. Should have happened to us long time. But because of God's goodness. Mm? Even when we don't deserve it. And his mercies on us. God spare us from a lot of things. So you see this Psalm 23. Is one of my favorite Psalms. Read it. Get the understanding of it. Digest it. Listen, we have the Bible now as a tool. The Bible stands for basic instruction before leaving earth. We have it. We can read it anytime we want and we just have it sit down there and we're not using the word of God, which is powerful, especially the Psalms. That's why I decided to do a talk show. You need to get into the word, into the Lord. Huh? And you need to get within yourself and start cleaning up your temple and make a covenant with God. Don't you think it's time now? How much warning we must have? We're not going to change overnight because God knows I have a lot of cleaning up to do. I'm not, I'm not going to pretend and act like I'm righteous here because I'm far from it. But try... And if you're sincere to God, God will help you through things that you're struggling with. You understand? Just be honest to God. Open up to God. Cry out to God. 
and follow the right shepherd, which is Christ. So thank you for tuning in tonight. And I will see you next week. Yes, we're going to go into another Psalms next week. But you have to tune in. Make sure you follow me at MSE TV Talk Show. And also follow me on YouTube at MSE TV Network. Take care. I'm your host. Miss Sam and God bless and please be safe. Look after yourself. Take your vitamin C, B, your zinc. Drink your hot water with lemon on a daily basis, a couple of cups, and stay prayed up and stay in the word of God and read your Psalms. Amen and amen. Thank you for watching. Oh, <laughs>